Hey, swingers, welcome to a new series. Ish. Seth doesn't sound excited, which is bullshit. Uh, I'm going to show you my Instagram idol, Island, you're, and I'm drinking. You're, you're Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing Island. Also, I'm Toto. You don't need to lean so far in. Yeah. Headphone <laughs> warning. <that> loud. <sighs> Fuck you guys. All right. Dimitri, headphone warning. Dimitri, headphone warning. That's fair. That's fair. So, friends, this is my house. Um, I recently switched to this cottage looking thing. I'm trying to make it look like a witch's cottage, hence the mushroom lamps and the, the spoopy fence, the pumpkin patch, uh, this cauldron looking thing on the work table. Anyway, swingers, Toto is sloshed out no! of her gosh darn mind mm. and she gave us a, she, she's like, absolutely zooted. She, she she texted me <laughs> asking if we could record today out of the blue, and then three minutes later, when I didn't respond, calls me, giggling her drunk little pants off, being like, "Let's record." I'm not wearing pants, and also oh, I just oh gross. I offer I'm Toto wearing... the tire hang on, swing hang on, is a pants hang on. only zone. Hang on, we're gonna get this bug. The tire swing is a pants only. Oh, zone. we got a bug. I think it's a new bug to me. Yes. <laughs> I caught a rainbow stag. It's rainbow armor is so shiny. That was not the that most. That was a dung beetle. That was not the most punny. No. Here, I'll show you the dung beetle. I think this one's a dung beetle. You're a dung beetle. Stink bug. Man face stink bug. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Aren't they all? Logan, what is Sansa? Wow, that's Texas. Totally. Diving beetle. Giant water bug. Where's my mother? Fuck. There's the dung beetle. See? <laughs> I, already, I already came across this. I, Logan, I forget what animal is Sansa. I believe a pangolin. No, it links a pangolin. Links <laughs> a sedimentary rock. That no, that's bruiser. I think. Hold on. Any, I... anyways, we got a new critter, so we're gonna take it to Blathers over at the museum. And while we wait for that to load, we're gonna take French a, toast. Take that's a... right. <laughs> she looks like a sweet little French toast. It's perfect. Okay, now, lo, lo, Aaron. I'm sorry, the Toto. <sighs> you were t talking about Dobie Mick. And how we made you think of Moby Dick. Moby Dick. So I started reading this American classic recently. And for years, I thought it must be boring and dreadful. Much like, I don't know, um, Farewell to scene. Arms. Yeah, anything anything by What's-His-Nuts. I don't know. Um, Hemingway? Yeah. Ernest Hemingstein. Annie Huzel. Um, and Get then... Ten at a time. Shut your hole. And then... I started reading it, largely based on the recommendation of a literary podcast that I f listened to, and they're like, this book is fucking funny. Guess what, Swingers? It's fucking funny. It's also racist. It is racist, but, like... I can't possibly turn the game down anymore. <laughs> to be expected, unfortunately, because white America loves its racism. Anywho. And Koto loves her high horse. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> he's not wrong. Oh, John's gonna love that. Oh yeah. Um. The Tauntaun. Mm, does he even watch though? Occasionally. He's, he's watched a few of the bot was. He said I'm funnier than Logan is. Uh, I don't remember that to be honest. But... Either way, neither of you talk enough. You need someone who can fill a silence. <clears throat> Yeah, it has to be well filled. <laughs> um, you asked me quality to... over quantity, Aaron. You asked me to talk about Mummy Dick, and I'm trying to. And here you are talking about brother. Who... Well, hold on. Uh, we're not related to him. Hold on. Oh. Dimitri, figure something out about that. You called him Tonton. So, that's not doxing. <laughs> that's not doxing. That's nowhere near doxing. Tonton is those like weird. Dobie Mick. Winter camel monsters. Dobie Mick. On the Hoth ice planet. Doby Mick. <laughs> ah ha ha ha. Sadly, I did that deliberately, you wang. We know. We know it was still funny. Doby Mick. So the first time they encounter a whale. It is Ishmael's first time on a whaler. His first whale on a whaler. And he's on the boat. He lost his whale virginity. <laughs> yeah, so the Ew. big boat is the ship. And then when they see a whale, they put little rowboats out. Those are called boats. And they... They scurry around with our harpooners. I feel like it should be harpooner, but it has two E's. They scurry around and they try to stab the whale. So he is telling us like what those little boats look like when they're scooting around trying to get goddamn whales. And how like the captain, not captain, but 
The person in charge of that little boat usually stands. And one of these fellas, Flask, he is a short-ass motherfucker. I mean, he is really fucking short. He's climbing on top of the gunwale or whatever it's fucking called to try and get a view of the goddamn whale. And he's like, God damn it, I'm short. And one of his crewmen um, is like, hey, man, you could, like it to a box. you could stand on my shoulders if you want. And Flask is all, yes, that would be the dignified thing to do. Thank you, Dagu. And then he stands on Dagu's shoulders. And that just sounds like some sibling shit that we would do. Like, hold on, though. That's like that's somebody who's so secure with himself. He's like, yeah, I'll yeah. stand near your fucking shoulders. Yeah. Also, there was a bit of racism in that scene because, of course, Daegu is black. And then they're like, the noble savage and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. So, like, Moby Dick is funny. I just expect Melville- Flask to fall in the water and die. No, that was... I just read chapter 54 and they're talking about how they gab. Spoilers. <laughs> no, when, when other... When other ships, page three, Seth. when mm. other ships are nearby, they they like slow down and send someone over so they can chit chat and get the news and maybe mail because they had very inefficient water mail service, um, and they call it gabbing, and the captains from whalers when they're going across to the other ship to gab, they like want to show off, so they stand the whole way over, even though. They like wipe out and fall in the lake, or sometimes grab Ocean. the oarsmen by the hair so they can stand up and remain dignified and big dicked. It was it's funny. Pretty big dick energy. So here's what you do, swingers. You you want to cheat in that when you're gabbing. So in your little rowboat, you're going to your opponent's, your enemy's ship in. Not an enemy. Uh, but uh, they're your enemy if you're swagging on them. Oh yeah, yeah. You got to swag. You got to swag. So here's what you do. You just sneakily put like bolt in like a mm-hmm. couple of foot holders. Mm. Oh, you mean like um, Michael Jackson just putting nails in the Oh, floor? I was just thinking like loops uh, that your, your feet can slip into. Like a pair of skis? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's funny that you mention that because Captain Ahab, as you may know, is one-legged. He has a peg leg. because Moby... pegged <laughs> Yeah, that's true as well. Because <laughs> Moby Dick ate his other leg. Because he's like, I'm going to fuck with a whale. And the whale was like, bitch, I'm a whale. Um, he said, bitch, fuck you. So, on his ship, a lot of the spots where he commonly stands and glowers around, they have carved, like, a hole or a groove into the deck that his peg leg nests in. So he stands nice and snug. <laughs> so he doesn't flop but around. But wait, but then he'd be lopsided. I know, that's what I was thinking, too. But I don't know who made his prosthesis for him. It may not be all that well made yeah it may not be super well matched to his it's height a, oh, it's a wood leg though if it's, it's too tall you can just cut it off not a wood like it is ivory because this motherfucker hates whales so very fucking much that he made his leg out of whale ivory oh okay okay i, th- I thought it was gonna be elephant not ivory. elephant ivory i didn't um, even know whales had ivory I'm, unless i'm ivory is mistaken bone. Unless, um, uh... unless i'm very mistaken about the concept of ivory in whaling ships it is a whale part. Like, probably from baleen whales. They have hair for teeth, swingers. It's a bit fucking weird. Ew, it weird. could be like a rib. <sighs> whales have ribs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but ivory... I feel like ivory... Normal, like, Seth, walruses have ivory because they got tusks. I feel like it's tooth bone specifically. I couldn't tell your friends. I'm going to Google this right now. Seth's so going to Google this right so, now, swingers. So, at the beginning... Be smart swingers. At the beginning of the book, Ishmael is like... Call me Ishmael. I, yes, that's chapter one. But before that, he does a prelude where he does an honest-to-God lit review. Because motherfucker is like, I am a scientist, and y'all will acknowledge me. And it's a flex. Okay, Naruto. Uh, it's a flex. And the whole, if I write this lit review, the whole book community will have to acknowledge me, and then I'll become Hokage. Hang on, guys. I think I got it. Ivory. What we knew how to pronounce the word. Thanks, bud. A hard, creamy white substance composing of the main part of the tusks of an elephant, walrus, or narwhal. Uh, I don't think I don't know if wa- narwhals fonder are considered whale. According to Melville, they fall under the larger umbrella of whale because oh fuck, I finally got one of these stupid summer shells. Um, it's. it's- June. Okay. It's beginning June. It's not summer yet. 
tell that to Animal Crossing. So, yeah, Animal Crossing, it's not summer yet. When is Melville? Summer yet? Like, like or something. earlier sure. in the book, they're on the ship, they're sailing out and everything. He's like, let's talk about what is and is not a whale. Because Homie likes to be precise. And he's like, we're going to include narwhals. They're and the Jedi of the sea. They, they are. They stop Cthulhu eating ye. Ye. Um, that man narwhals has and porpoises. Race. And he's like, they are not technically whales. But as watery mammals that we often harvest for similar purposes, they're the sort of thing a whaler, if they see it, they'd grab it. So we're going to put them under the big umbrella of whales. But he talks about the difference between sperm whales and baleen whales and the Greenland whale and the right whale. Um, yeah, I believe some you mean these, brother. Some terms are out of date. <laughs> mm, I don't know what Joe Clogan's making. Orville and Wilbur? Uh, the right uh, whales? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, also, but now I think... Also, if there are right whales or the wrong whales or left whales... Logan, now... Or now, read whales? Now I need an educational children's cartoon program... We'll work on it. ...about... <laughs> <laughs> Orville and Wilbur Whale. As whales, yes! Yeah. Although, how will a whale fly? Someone with creativity figured this out for you me. You put wings and a jet engine on it. Okay, that bug on that tree looks like something I've caught before, but, like, you can never be sure, so let's nab it. I mean, you could be sure. Man, that's basically spot on. You are. How many hours have you put into this game? Ten thousand. Um, well, swingers, we can find out by uh, doing the go up top left. Toe yeah, toe yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um. Uh. Profile. <sighs> okay. I know Five hundred eighty <laughs> hours. Okay, um, Dimitri, <laughs> cut out her friend code though. That'd be that'd be great, Dimitri. Just black it out. Put like a subscribe button over it or something. I mean, people could try to friend me, and I'd be like, "Nah, bitch, you stranger." Yeah, but like we have twenty two subs. Do you want to un like turn down like four people? Like that's a lot. Because <laughs> obviously you'd say yes to Scribara, but you don't know those other people. I know a lobster. Yeah, and that's it. But aren't you already, you know... Does he even have the Switch? I don't know. We are not currently that friends on the Switch because he is an adult person. A zebra turkey fish. Uh-huh. That's not real. Land, that's, air, water, make up your mind. That's not real, is it? I have no it idea. Yeah. You have Google All right of there. these critters are real. And when you get them for the first time, you take them to the museum and you're like, Blathers, I have a new critter for you. And he's like, ooh hoo hoo I'm going to share some facts about this critter with you if you would like. Look, zebra turkey fish. Oh my god, Land, it's real. Land, air, water, make up your mind. Where's the fire? <clears throat> yeah, I get it's, it. It's not the avatar. That thing looks crazy, guys. I know. It's um, cray cray. I wish I could... Maybe I can show you some of the other things I've caught. I take screenshots sometimes when I catch something ridiculously oversized. Oh, just took a screenshot. I just want to like... Burp, burp, burp. I just want to talk about this. Aaron has 580 hours in this game. I have just over 100 in Bob. Look at this fucking Colanth. Colacenth? I don't know how to say the word. But look at that motherfucker. It, relicanth, Toto. Relicanth. Um, That's a Pokemon. Let's see. Yeah. What other fishy, fishy friends may I have? I don't know. Oh, there's these... King crab noise. Yeah, look at this beast. There's a oh, spider crab. Okay. I do have king crabs. They're smaller, though. D okay, so can I talk about crabs? Um, the animal, not the disease? Logan, you sure. talked about this in Katamari. Have I? Yes, you talked it's about how everything evolves into crabs. Nature they are loves evolving things to crabs. crabs they are optimal. Crab god. Crab you, god. you named your video <laughs> crab god. That was separate, I think. I feel like it was probably in the same no, it was recording actually session. The, it was the same episode because I was talking about praising crab Jesus. Okay. Anyways, so Swingers. I apparently talked about this in Katamari. But but he has to do it again. SciShow has a video on it. And I feel like, or maybe it was PBS Eons has a video on it. But so apparently, yeah, crabs are just optimal for non-bipeds. Because nature just keeps a, like... It's called convergent evolution when two, like, different species evolve the same trait separately. Mm. And we keep convergent evolutionizing crabs. Like, there's only a handful of true crab species. We, as if we had any part in these crab. Well, I mean, it was the royal we. I'm not saying you had any part in I'm it. I'm gonna but... get this present with my slingshot. Does it go into... Oh my god. Oh god, if I had done it any sooner, it would have landed in the water. That would be pretty funny. You could probably fish it out. No. If it goes in the water, that's that tropical vista. I don't know how to make this. Huh. Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a tropical vista. 
I don't like a tropical windows vista. We'll find out. So Please is, no. is it going to give you your brain an error report? Actually, I would really love if it was just the like standard windows vista screensaver with that like green field. That's XP and I think 98 <sighs> even. What? But Aaron I'm pretty sure your brain actually does send out error reports, specifically yours. Seriously, Speaking yeah. Of, we, we, yeah. I came up with a great idea the other day. Y'all, Aaron, you know the um, Yu-Gi-Oh! theme song, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my so God. Good. I can't think of it. Can you sing it for me, please? There's not many words. Can you hum it for me, please? Do, 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 do. Hold on, I'll just play it for you. But you know at the point where they say... It's time to do it. The duel. Okay, I was thinking of doing that, but like instead of going into the duel, just do the Windows error sound <laughs> <laughs> and then the actual like image. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a genius. That's so original. Someone else has already three done people that. have already done it on YouTube. I'm gonna do it anyways. There is no such thing as an original thought, which Melville mentions in Moby Dick. Like, Aaron is not an original thought either. I <laughs> and I am a little. She is just a regular thought. They do say a couple words, but not a whole lot. Don't copyright strike us. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh theme song. And we're giving credit. We're, like, we're not claiming we wrote it, right? And we're not profiting off it, so it's within the fair use rules. Yeah. We really aren't profiting anything right now. Yet. We just enjoy Scubara's love and affection. Dude, Scubara's the best, though. Really? Like, man, I'm... Like, not but her Do you about know how sad Seth was when there were like three episodes in a row where Skarbara didn't comment. Oh, oh. Dude, I honestly was heartbroken. <laughs> oh, Skarbara, you're breaking your brother's heart. I gotta fight you. We're not related. You're, you're breaking Dipshit. your mother's heart. No, I'm not related to Logan. You're still my brother, and you're Logan's brother. I can't keep these things Wait, straight. No, hold we both on. have a sister, Toto, but it's yeah. not you. Hold on, no, Seth. Aaron, you're, you're, you're not quite understanding. Me and Seth have almost all the same siblings, is what it is. 